here is just Italy and we just land in the southern part of Italy, one of the best part parts of the, the country. Where there is a beautiful sea, amazing food. Should we tell them where we are? Yeah. Why so not? we are in Puglia. Puglia. So yeah, we it was a last minute plan actually, but Toti planned everything. Uh, so we will do one day in Brindisi and, and then the rest tomorrow we will see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tomorrow you will see where we are going. So we skip already one day on our road trip of Puglia. Yeah. Why? Because we want just to relax. Yeah, because we wanted just to relax yesterday was like without vlogging at all and without thinking about our blog and our... Nothing, social media, nothing, nothing. It was just relax. <laughs> and like it was our welcome back in Italy. And we are just starting our road trip today actually. The first stop was San Vito de Normane that is a cute town and uh, middle of nowhere. <laughs> uh, let's say about less than half an hour from Brindisi which was the airport where we land in Salento yes. and we get the first stop in, uh, in Brindisi which is a cute town on the seaside and the only things that we enjoyed of that city was the calm of the Sunday afternoon plus the amazing beach which has got a clear turquoise water yeah. unbelievable that was amazing and we were enjoying just the beach and actually fell asleep on the beach. <laughs> and now it's time to go back on the road. So we just arrived in Ostuni and it's such a cute village. Have a look. Everything is white. Day three, actually. Yeah, it's day three, yeah. So we're doing Albero Bello and Loco Rotundo. All in one day because it's possible and it's quite accessible from Martina Franca to get a really nice train that you get an uh, amazing view, yeah. by the way, and with all the tools uh, yeah. on the side of your, um, of your carriage. And that it's so amazing to see the landscape of um, uh, of the Valle d'Itria. This is the the valley where where is Loco Rotundo and Albero Bello located. Yes. Um, we are staying in the Martina Franca because it's a it's a strategic place for that. Yeah, and it's actually a really cute place. Like I never thought that it would be. It's a kind of Ostuni, but less known. And most of the people are staying in Martina Franca just because it is very accessible to uh, reach Albero Bello or Loco Rotundo. Otherwise, you're gonna spend just one night. We are in Alberobello, 
So you can see behind us all the little cute trolley. Uh, yeah, and this is actually one of the most panoramic place in Alberobello and to be honest is also hidden place yeah. is, uh, it's out of the sides or where they take you to see the, um, the trulli yeah. the famous houses yeah and we were just going in another spot and we just found it like literally you just go oh let's go there I think it's nice and then yeah. this is the view that we're getting and this is so. called the pa panoramic yeah basically like panoramic view yeah so we are going Time to for some pictures we are going to discover now the last spot yes of Albero Bello. And then we are going, we are heading to Locorotondo. So Eating let's... something before? Because we are starting. Ah, yeah, maybe yes, because uh, in here it's almost one o'clock, so it's almost lunch time. And then we are going to Locorotondo. And so... despite this is September, the temperature is really oh hot. Oh my god, over it, it looks degrees. like it is uh, August for me, no, it's not September. So, so yeah, so see you guys. So, see you. Loco Rotondo. So we just arrived to Loco Rotondo from Albero Bello. We took the train this morning from Martina Franca to Albero Bello and then from Albero Bello we took the train back to Loco Rotondo. Yeah, we yeah. are discovering this amazing land that is Puglia or as you want to uh, <laughs> uh, name that Apulia. Apulia that actually is coming from a latin name that is describing uh, land without rain. rain yeah which is true i mean it's september and it is extremely hot over 30 so, degrees right now yeah and my shoulders are already red yeah I've burned <laughs> but actually i found a way with my dress so it's fine uh, so, so we are yeah. discovering Puglia that is um, not our region but is our country Italy and yeah. we will uh, let you understand that this is possible to discover even with uh, public transport that oh, so yes. many people say that it's impossible to discover Puglia without renting a car oh, that which actually is not true. not true I mean maybe if you want to go to the south to all the beaches maybe yes but we uh, took the flight from London to Brindisi which is the um, Salento airport and then from then we stayed one night in Brindisi and then we took the, the bus to the, the bus to Ostuni, right? Yes, but before we passed by uh, San Vito di Normani. Oh, yeah. I that already is forgot a cute, our itinerary, guys. Yeah, sorry. that is a cute <laughs> it, actually because it was me to plan it. <laughs> well, it's fine. I'm the better so, half anyway. Yeah, we, we came from um, Brindisi. Brindisi to San Vito di Normani by and bus, then yeah. we passed by. Ostuni, all that by bus. bus. From Ostuni, we went to um, Cisternino. Cisternino, that is a cute town that we will place down because you need to see. Absolutely. It's, it's really stunning, like Loco Rotondo, but it's less known. Uh, in that, we arrived in Cisternino because it's our place where we have to take the train to Martina Franca, where yeah. was our little trullo. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we took a, a little trullo in uh, Martina Franca. So yeah, and in Cisternino something really nice happened to us because we were trying to find uh, the station, uh, but of course Google Maps sometimes is telling you right and then it's actually left. So we asked this gentleman and at some point he was like, uh, so you know what, come with me. So we went with him in the city center of Cisternino and he showed us around and say, like it was our personal guide. Yeah, like he was, a, guide. He it was, was telling us even yeah. what to eat, what to do, and yeah, uh, locals how to hunt. Yeah, and he showed us the, um, the point of view, like this one that we got behind us. Uh, and then he was like, yeah, to go to the station, this is the easiest way. Go there, you will find it 10 minutes and it's there. So it was super nice. If it wasn't for rare. him and our, our guide, Nicola, thank you Nicola, by the way. <laughs> Uh, our guide basically told us if it wasn't for him, we never saw the city center of Cisternino, yeah. which actually is really Super pretty cute. and, uh, and yeah, nice. Yeah, it's like Martina Franca or even like Lo Loco Rotondo. So it's those cute villages hidden uh, in between, so, which is absolutely worth to visit. So if you have the car, obviously you want to stop by so many places, yeah. but you can do that also by public transport. Yeah, and they are so cheap. Yeah, it's so cheap, so like cheap. for Albero Bello from Martina Franca, the cost of the ticket one is Euro 1 ten? Euro 10. But yeah. we will explain about the, the cost of this trip later on. Yes, 
so for now on we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day in Loco Rotondo and then we will be back in Martina Franca because tomorrow we are going to Bari. Yeah, our next stop is from Martina Franca to the seaside and yes. uh, we will cross another province of Italy and we will go in the province of Bari and discover Bari and then other two locations on the seaside that are extremely beautiful.